Hey guys, Nathan with the ebookreader.com. I'm going to give you guys a look at these new color screens from Ink. So last year, Ink uh, released these six inch screens on the left, on the, on the pocketable color, these six inch color ink screens called Kaleido, I think. I don't know how they pronounce it, but Kaleido, Kaleidoscope, that makes sense to me. Uh, so we got the uh, newer panel here on the 7.8 inch version of the pocketbook uh, that was just released and they talked about having improved colors and a lighter background. I guess they did something um, with the uh, color filter that goes over the front, uh, changed it up a little bit to improve the uh, colors and the contrast. It's definitely not a huge difference. Um, but you can see that the colors have improved. They kind of have a little bit more of a solid quality to them. You don't see that uh, grid quite as much. I mean, you can still see the grid on the screen a little bit, but it's not quite as visible with these newer panels. Um, and again, the background, it's a little bit lighter. So you kind of had a darker tinge with the uh, original six inch uh, color screen. So then these ones definitely have a little bit better uh, contrast and a little bit better color. So you still got the 300 PPI for text, 100 PPI for color. Uh, but as you can see here on the newer screen, a lighter background. It uh, doesn't have like that darkish gray color to it as the old one did. Uh, it's got a little bit lighter color to it. And you can tell like with the hair there, definitely uh, colors have improved. Um, so yeah, I do like the, uh, the advancement with this newer screen here. Uh, it's not a huge leap by any means, but it's definitely... Uh, been improved. You can see here, we'll turn the front light off. It was at 100% there initially, so now we have it turned off. Um, you can see here, sort of uh, same deal. It's just a little bit lighter background on the newer one. You get a little bit uh, brighter colors. All right, so this is with a light overhead with the front light off on these. I'm going to turn off the overhead light so you still have light coming in through the window here. You can kind of look at how these newer screens compare to the old ones. Um, you know, like I said, not a huge difference, but it's definitely an improvement. Uh, with the colors and the lighter background, not quite as dark as the uh, first generation screen. So, uh, but to bring things around full circle, let's go ahead and look at the Kindle Oasis here with the regular ink screen. As you can see, um, contrast is obviously far superior on a regular ink screen than it is on these color screens. So, I mean, the color screens, they look good when you're just looking at them like when you don't have like a reference of the like uh, other ink screen but i mean you also have the color so you can even add color highlights so you do have some advantages with the color i mean obviously it's much better for comics and manga and stuff like that um but when it comes to regular text that's where the difference can really be seen between old ink and color ink so like uh, and then the Kindle Oasis also has that uh, orange color you can adjust with the front light. They don't have that on the color models, I guess, because it interferes with the color or something. But uh, color ones just have the regular uh, front light. So let's go ahead. That One thing with the pocketbooks, I don't really like their fonts, but let's go ahead and try to make this a little bit more fair fight for pocketbook. We'll use a bold font, which I don't really like because I think it's too bold. But, um, I mean, this definitely evens the score a little bit. Uh, still get a lighter background on the regular ink screen. Now we got the front light on. With the pocketbook, having the front light on is key to making the screen look better. When you have the front light off, it quite kind of looks a lot darker, as you can see right here. Much darker with the front light off. Uh, let's compare the Kindle Oasis with the front light off. As you can see, you know, big difference. So that's what it comes down to with color ink. You're getting color, but you're sacrificing contrast with regular black and white text. So, I mean, it's a trade-off. Another thing I notice about these color screens is they uh, like reflect, they're a little bit more reflective as you can see right here, comparing it to the Kindle Oasis, which actually has a glass layer over the front and these don't. Um, but you can see like the reflections a little bit more apparent on these color panels for whatever reason. I don't know if it's the color filter that's adding that or not, but yeah, oh, regular ink is, isn't quite as reflective of the uh, background light. Um, so here's comparing both of the old ink, the new ink, um, with text, as you can see, definitely a better reading experience on the newer panel. You don't have that sort of, it kind of has almost a greenish tinge too with the original pocketbook. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. I just wanted to show you guys what new uh, color ink screens look like compared to the old. What do you guys think? Do you like these new color ink screens or you just want to stay with the regular old school ink screens?